Yo, what's going on guys? Twitch is in a solid spot at the moment. You just got to get through lane phase. Even if you have zero kills and you're down 20 CS, once you make it to level six, you're cooking and you're in control of the game. Twitch can roam off mid lane to mid lane as well. Pretty often from base, especially just like a Tristana AD carry can. So definitely take advantage of that. You can't take lethal tempo. It's out of the game. So you force to go press the attack, triumph, lacrity, coup de grace, sudden treasure hunter because Twitch scales up crazy off gold. That's why you go treasure hunter. Uh, don't worry about not having gathering absolute doesn't matter for twitch attack speed 80 and health level 1 Q lots of attack speed movement speed it's worth having for an all-in but uh, looking at the Ezreal pretty pretty weak for what we are we don't have to worry too much about him until Thresh hits level 2 we're going to go for Bork, Hurricane into Collector. Collector is really strong at the moment, so it's pretty much always Collector third. We have wave advantage, and we're also ranged, so we just need to push the wave. Thresh is only dangerous if they hit two first. Like, Thresh shouldn't even be allowed to step in that bush without Ash hitting him. Ash has 600 range. Thresh is only dangerous if they hit two first, and we have minion advantage. Or two. I have a point in my E. We're gonna max our E first, Q second, and W last. You can play Twitch AP. We have Syndra, so we don't really need to do that this game. Kind of vision in this bush. I'm just gonna sit in there. Or we need to push the wave with our ranged autos so we can get away from this overall position so thresh can't just sit there in the bush all day we got our q on you see how we have minion advantage like thresh basically just can't do that thresh didn't know what to do basically since me and ash are both hitting the wave by default they can't all in us because we're gonna have more minions than them even if thresh does somehow hit his hook skill shot when we're inside of our thick minion wave and uh he could tell he's gonna lose bush control within the next like four to eight seconds because we're shoving wave, so we just forced an all in and then died. Uh, that's just kind of the way the matchup should work. Range supports are brain dead overpowered like Ash Center. They take no skill. You just push the wave win for free. If the enemies don't know how to play against that, they die. If they do, then you just go neutral and it's easy. I can't reach that. Getting with a W auto. Got him with the E. I'll ghost him down. I don't want to have to flash, ideally. Of course, there's a plant, though, dude. You actually can't make that up. <laughs> there's literally a plant there. That stalled it out so hard. All right, I got to reset, get back to land. I'm going to rush tier two boots. If you can tell you're going to have to roam a lot or if they have skill shot supports like a Blitz, Thresh, then uh, Berserk Rush is not bad on Twitch. So yeah, we'll get back to lane. Try not to miss too many minions here. Trindomir has, I think it's the highest or one of the highest base health regens in the game and one of the highest base armor and health stat in the game. Plus he's got D-Shield probably second win. So he's kind of hard to kill early on. Oh yeah, we lost a plate. That's pretty bad. We got Q attack speed to help farm these minions. Perfect. My minions were focusing it. They kind of messed up that melee creep for us. Alrighty. We don't know what's in that bush, so we just kind of need to finish pushing the wave. We have the minion pressure, so Thresh can't hook through minions or anything. So as long as we have a minion in front of us, we are pretty safe. We're trying to push it past the lane bushes so Thresh can't force us to ward the bush. Early on supports don't have a bunch of free wards to where it's pretty taxing to have to uh, do that. No clue why Ezreal was over there. That was bizarre. I'm going to throw my W, slow down the wave, slow them down. I don't want them getting into this bush. Pop the E. <clears throat> Got my Q down. Ash is dead. She needed to flash that. She's dead now at this point. It's always worth the flash if you're going to survive the gank. 
a lot of times people end up using their sums late when it's past the point of no return it's better to use it early and live than to just die and save it for next game happens though it's easy to think you can outrun a skill shot but especially early game it doesn't work you can't outrun it without boots especially on a 325 base movement speed character like ash kindred and nivia tristana doesn't work I want to try to stay in XP range. I do have to be a little bit careful though. Nocturne's playing pretty heavy bot side. I want them to know that I know. I don't want them actually taking it. Oof. Little surprise Thresh took that. I'm on potion and tier 2 boots. So we'll see how this goes. Hey, these ash slows are brutal. Auto E. I'm on Q. Uh, I kind of want to just go for the wave here. We haven't killed Ezreal yet, so I didn't get a treasure hunter off of Thresh. You can only get treasure hunter off of a champion once, off that specific champ. Get closer, get my auto there sooner. We're going to dump this wave, so I'll just W it. Like I said, on Twitch, you don't actually have to be ahead early on. All you have to do is just not be crazy, crazy, crazy far behind. Just don't die pre-6, essentially. As long as they're not dying pre six, you'll be fine. All right, uh, we'll just crash this last wave and leave. I don't want them counter crashing. They're also losing minions as I dump this underneath their turret, so I kind of like the push here. We'll keep recall. In theory, he can't see me. Unless he walks into me or he has vision of this area before I recalled, which he shouldn't have. You can even ward while we're invisible. Technically camouflage if uh, they get close enough, you can they can see you. It's camouflage. Rengar R, Twitch Q, Evelyn, visibil Evelyn um, passive, I guess you would say. Not even invisibility. Hey, Hecarim's getting people killed. He's just got to just farm it up. Hecarim, I don't think he's necessarily strong right now. He can certainly snowball just because his mobility. Any high mobility character can snowball a fed. But I don't think he's actually good in the sense of if he's not fed, he's pretty weak. A lot of Hecarims don't keep up their Q stacks and they'll go into fights. Hecarim without Q stacks is pretty trash. Thresh is 6. I'm 6. He's going to be in that bush. Okay, yeah, he's out of it now. It's tough because even if we ash our Ezreal, he's going to get Lantern or he's just going to dash it. So puts us in a weird spot. I'll take Scuttle while I wait. I'll back it up if they push for it. I'd rather get Scuttle though. Auto E auto. Wow, they're pushing that wave quick. If they go for plate... I think I can. We can all in them. I missed pretty much a whole minion wave for that. I would like to kill them. They need to suffer. I stopped moving or stopped autoing so I could keep moving. Is the best way to put that. Auto them out. I do have flash. Nice. We'll take it. Knowing when to stop autoing so you can. Clear more distance is so valuable versus these skill shot supports. I mean, I could have just flashed it to be fair and just got off an extra auto essentially, but having flash is pretty useful. With Twitch R, we do AoE damage, of course. We get a lot of extra damage, and I can outspace both of them since it is so much extra range. I'm going to stay for one plate, and I'm going to leave. I don't know where Nocturne's at. He could pop R, kills both. Yep. He's on Ash. I can't. I just can't save her. I don't have any mana either. I'll just flash it. It's not worth dying for it. That's so funny. Is Thresh actually going to die here? His teammates aren't backing him up at all. <laughs> he died. Poor dude. He thought he was making a play. He's been trying to force plays a lot. He's getting bored. It's a very common thing in League. Happens in every elo. Happens more in lower elo to be fair, but it happens in every elo. People just get bored and they make really, really dumb plays. 
oftentimes why you you hear this a lot from high yield players to climb you don't have to carry it you just have to not make mistakes and what that translates to is people are playing a video game they're trying to have fun if you're not making mistakes they'll make mistakes because they're bored that's literally what that means and you'll oh i just popped r rip Ripperoni, pepperoni. I didn't have Q or R. There's no way I could kill Ezreal there. I'll just shove wave, look to roam. Auto E auto. Might build a dam. Ooh, yeah, we can get the plate. We have so many minions here. Cannon's going to take a while for him to kill. Report Thresh, they say. That is some damage. Poopy going bot because Thresh trolling. Poppy has Sunfire. I don't really want to fight her. <laughs> she hurts. She's tanky. I'm not going to do a whole lot of damage. Well, I got DC'd because of the CCP virus kernel. That is a Vanguard. So I'm back in the game. I've been having issues not only on this computer, but another computer that I own with League of Legends ever since Vanguard. Luckily, I didn't die. The DC. Ah, we need Ezreal. WR. I have Bork, so Poppy's going to feel it. <laughs> Poppy's going to feel it. They have vision of me right now. Mm, we're pretty fed. My CS score is dropping a bit, but... CS only matters so much on Twitch. As long as you're not behind and... Kill gold or minion gold or kill gold and XP. Yeah, he's looking for it. Now, well, close fight. It's worded there. I'm going to go around. I don't want them to see me where I'm going. Okay, they're all going mid at the moment. I'll leave a word there. Ezreal does have tier twos. There's three of them here. Nocturne's going to come right here or right there. I don't know which. I'll just wait. QW auto. Ash attacked early. She should have let him enter bush so we had more time. That's all right. I have ghost. We'll just throw W early. Auto eat. Not bad. And that should be game, honestly. Ezreal's rage splitting top because he feels like Ezreal let him down. But that's just how it goes. If Thresh were to auto the wave the whole time level 1 like me and Ash were doing, the lane could have played out a bit differently. I still think me and Ash could out push an Ezreal because of the Ash W, but Thresh wanted to play bush heavy control. And we didn't play for bush. We just sat in our minion wave and pushed. So that was kind of the rock, paper, scissor dynamic. He was throwing a uh, rock. He kept throwing rock and we kept throwing paper. I have Bork. Ezreal's about to walk into me. He's about to stay with the wave. Huh. I don't know what he's doing. I guess he AFK'd. He just didn't come. Oh, they're on me. Who are they on? Yeah, that was weird. I was out by myself, but it wasn't actually on me. I love when people say that I constantly say to report so-and-so instead of just surrendering. Like, they want it both ways, right? Well, I'm going to still try. I deserve to win, but you st should still report this guy. It's like, no. You're gonna, if you're going to drag me through this game, you need to FF. Or if, if you want me to report this guy, you can't drag me through this game and expect me to still take the time to report him. Oh, I was on a ward. That's so lame. They're going to be waiting in a bush. <clears throat> they're probably in that bush if they're here. WR. My W gives vision. Fun fact of the day. Auto E. I just have to run. I died. I literally died to an Ezreal ability I didn't see. 
I could have flashed it, could have juked it, but no, I just died. I could have gotten back into the fight once he had an ability on a cooldown, hit him with two or three autos. Nice. The Hezer, the Hecram Juke with Eclipse. Sitting on almost 3k gold. Hurricane into Collector. After Collector, it's pretty much always Infinity Edge these days. Infinity Edge into Bloodthirster, and then you're kind of overpowered from there. 300 attack range. So Twitch has 850 auto attack range. Caitlyn's only 650. Twitch has by far the most auto range in the game when on R. Not even close. We'll get him with a W auto. He's fast. He's really, really fast. These people are always missing. They'll be right there. He's got nowhere to go. Flash the poppy dash. Couldn't even see her. Nocturne's taking a gazillion damage. Plated is freaking busted, dude. One item Nocturne against two item Twitch with Ash support there. Who's stronger? Plated or two characters? It's the plated. Way too strong early mid game. Way, 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 way too strong. There's no reason Plated should be cheaper than Merc Treads. Plated was already better than Merc Treads, Riot. Or, I'm sorry. Plated was already better than boots like Sork Shoes. Sork Shoes gives two stats. Plated gives three. And the stat Sork Shoe gives is completely overshadowed by Merc Treads. Plus, Merc Tread gives three stats. You get the tenacity. I'm telling you, dude. Sork Shoes is literally the worst boot option in the game. There's... When you compare the boots, you would think Sork Shoes would be the cheapest boot option, not Lucid's, <clears throat> which gives three stats. Sork Shoes only gives two. It should be Sork Shoes and Swifties that are the cheapest. Or does he even remove Sork Shoes? They almost feel like a noob trap. Like building it on the vast majority of characters is just so weak. Trindamir's on the split. I want to punish him. I'm gonna nibble on him. Can't see. Syndra is actually chasing him. She's running. Run, you fool! Stop juking in place! Kills only do so much, though. We got to keep getting objectives. Mm. <laughs> we'll get this drag. My treasure hunter's maxed out, so I'm not getting bonus gold anymore from killing these guys. Armor. Armor. We need the vision. Oh wow, is he actually gonna do it? Oh, so they, they literally just have vision of the bush. That's not, <laughs> I, I pinged it was warded. I literally pinged it, but I guess we didn't have any way to check. Those type of bushes when the enemies are hiding underneath turret are almost always warded. Cause they're so easy to ward, so safe to ward. Cause they're basically underneath their turret when they ward it. Oh, here's Poppy. I'll get her with a W. There's the Bork slow. She pops me away. Nice. I have to make sure Nocturne dies. My E does not kill Ezreal, unfortunately. I'm dead. I literally died. Holy crap. Took a lot of damage from the Thrash. He did more damage to me than Ezreal did. Ezreal's doing a lot of damage. I also had my attack speed nerfed there from the Thresh Frozen Heart. That was kind of tough. He's 
He's gonna try to flay auto the Hecarim. Yep. Thresher empowered auto is so freaking strong. It's a weird thing. If you've never even played Thresh, you wouldn't know through any means really that oh his auto attack by the way does crazy damage it stacks up and does even more if he hasn't hit something in a little bit but even if he has it, it's like an extra 30 40 damage probably at this point in the game on every single auto dragon it is should really pull this out. So we'll have soul before 30 minute mark. He wants that red. I want it. I need my support though. They're going to know I'm here most likely. It's going to be warded. Nice. Wait, how did I not get red buff? Did Ezreal? Oh, Ezreal took it. All right. <laughs> Baron's good here. I have Ghost and Flash. 237 AD. Lots of attack speed, though. Some on hit from... Uh, I guess Runons doesn't give on hit anymore. It's just on hit from Bort. Whoever tanks Baron does half damage. In a perfect world, Cinder tanks here. So me and Heck can shred it. Cinder's not going to offer herself up like that. I'm full health. I'll tank a hit. I heal more than Heck. <clears throat> I have Bork. Clips only applies. <coughs> Clip shield only applies against champs. Trindamir is very, very, very fast. Plus he has mercs. Auto W auto. I got him with the auto E. He didn't use his thing in time. I also activated Ghost to try to kite him out there at the very end. I feel bad taking Hecarim's camps. <clears throat> the thing is, we are Twitch. The more gold you can funnel him to Twitch. He's a 1v9 character like Master Yi. Vayne's almost in that category. Vayne's only reason why she's not in the 1v9 category, like a Katarina, Twitch, or Yi, is. Vayne has zero AoE damage. <clears throat> she can't kill everybody at once. And sure, Yi can't really either, but single target damage is so unbelievably high that he kind of does. Auto W auto. Auto E. Ha Dude, Nocturne's impact damage is freaking nuts. So high. Trin can't do anything here. He does have R though. Gotta wait for my poison to end on him so I don't tank turret. Hecarim's in a weird spot. And he's kiting away from me. Cool. Got Q resets off that. Oh, actually I didn't. Huh. Not sure why not. Look at that boar healing. Love to see it. Bloodline isn't bad on Twitch. Lacken is just better. For the R engage to work. Mm, there's no way he actually comes for one of us. We need Ashar. Ashar, please do it. Do it. What is Poppy doing? What a goofball. Oh, they quit. All right. That makes sense, actually. We'll take it. So we got damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Report Thrasher and Numerous as again. Looking at damage dealt, we have the most in the game. Damage taken. Kind of low middle and self mitigated low middle would be expected because we weren't tanking. All in all, Twitch 80 carry. As long as you don't die pre-6 and you're still getting full minion XP, you will be able to carry the game. That's just the type of character he is. If you guys enjoyed this Twitch video, let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.